Welcome everyone, my name is Ole, and I'm sitting here with Professor, Doctor, and Structural Engineer Gerald Ani. For today's epic lesson, we're going to talk about the second magnificent ruler of Egypt's old kingdom. Back to you, Professor Ani. Thank you, Ole. Now to begin with, the famous King Khufu or Cheops reigned from 2551 to 2528 BCE a period of 23 years. Within those 23 years, Khufu has built many, many famous monuments, including the ginormous Great Pyramid. Khufu had many children. As a matter of fact, he actually had nine sons and five daughters. Pretty amazing, don't you think? Yes, yes, very amazing. Now, would you mind telling me, what was King Khufu's greatest accomplishment? Not at all. One of King Khufu's greatest accomplishments was that he built the Great Pyramid of Giza. This was a very magnificent accomplishment because the Great Pyramid of Giza is the biggest pyramid in ancient Egypt. Could you imagine how hard it is to manage all those workers? He even had to feed the thousands and thousands of workers. How incredible is that? Hmm, very good info, Professor. Can you tell me more about the Great Pyramid or some other monuments? Sure. Well, just so you know, the Great Pyramid was one of King Khufu's famous monuments, mainly because it was built to house the tomb of King Khufu himself. I heard that tombs often contain tons of valuable riches and jewelry. Why is that? Good question. This is because the ancient Egyptians believed in the afterlife. So often whenever a loved one dies, they cover the tomb with all sorts of valuables. The valuables were actually meant to help the pharaoh in the afterlife become wealthy and rich. Whoa, really? Tell me more about how this monument reflected the ancient Egypt's beliefs. Of course. Well, first, there's the solar boat. The solar boat was specifically built to house King Khufu's Ra. Ra actually means soul, just in case you're wondering. The ancient Egypts believed that the solar boat was used to bring the fair soul to heaven in order to join his father, Re. Another monument that King Khufu built was the Mortuary Temple. The Mortuary Temple was built specifically to hold certain festivals, such as the White Hippopotamus Festival and the Sed Festival. The name Sed, just in case you're wondering, originates from an ancient Egyptian wolf god. That is just amazing! Thank you, Professor Doctor and Structural Engineer Anyi. I found this very inspiring to finally know about King Khufu. Let us meet again sometime. You're welcome. Now can you excuse me? I have some very important exploring to get to.